Right, this is something I recommend. Um, so I actually tape the edges with a masking tape a little bit. Uh, in this way, I can keep that. Um, the border a little bit, just to make some margin. In this way, in this case, you don't actually paint the tabletop, but if you wanna make borderless, that's fine too, okay? So uh, my case, uh, I, I do a little bit tape around the edge, so I don't uh, uh, actually paint the table. But uh, of course, if you have a, a tabletop covered by something, of course, you, you, can, uh, you don't have to the uh, tape border. Um, around the image, okay? So just up to you, okay? All right, so let's see. This is the collage and this is my grayscale and uh, I have my um, color scheme. By looking at this, I was thinking what color scheme would be best. And my last demo, was this tetrad and I was looking at which one makes sense for me to do this tetrad or this tetrad and I think by looking at you know collage closer by this uh, combination of tetrad double split complementary tetrad blue violet yellow orange and so I'm gonna probably stick with this combination, possibly also adding some other color, color combination. I can see that uh, green is not uh, part of the color scheme, but of course I can make a green by uh, yellow and blue mixture, right? And uh, um, so I think this probably easier color scheme for, for me to paint this. And of course, if you want to change completely different color combination from original collage, that's 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 actually good. Okay, uh, so it's really up to you how you're gonna um, uh, approach to color. You're gonna be very loyal to the original color scheme on the photograph of a colla uh, collages, or uh, you're gonna be making very different color combination by just looking at the black and white version of that. Okay, so uh, let's just start. Um, I actually did the transfer, but uh, my transfer didn't really go into some detail. So I actually drew some lines after transferring. So I actually uh, traced one more time to make sure I have enough uh, line drawings uh, on, the, on the transferred image on Bristol. Right, so let's see. Um, and today's demo will be just the uh, uh, first part. It means I'm going to think about color combination. Um, my case, I'm going to do um, blue, Blue, violet, and yellow, and I don't have orange, so I'm going to add some, to make orange by adding red to it. Okay. So if I just uh, see the colors on the original collage, I realize, yes, I can, I can have violet, I can have blue, I can have orange, and I have yellow. So many parts I can just use with this color scheme. So probably I'm gonna just start with B, 
very similar to color scheme of the original collage. So I can have violet. But at this stage, I want you to use relatively uh, watery. Gosh, looks like blue on the, on the zoom. Zoom always changes the violet to be almost blue. It's frustrating. Um, when I say violet, it looks like blue. Um, all right, so I'm just making a very watery paint right now. So I don't lose that the line drawing. I'm doing like this here, violet for this triangle. And of course, you know, if you have a different kinds of a brush, small ones, um, round, round kind, all these different kinds of brush that will help because you may want to go into some details. All right, so this is, and I can have blue to this triangle. So in this stage, you are probably not thinking too much about uh, how light, how dark. It's basically you are thinking about how you're going to distribute that all these colors on your uh, painting. So it's like a final project one stage one, or it's like a, a color scheme sample on the color board assignment, but stage one. You just think about how, where you want that particular hue. And I can even think about, oh wow, this is a violet here on this color, it looks a little bit more blue violet, so I can use that here. And yellow. How many of you guys done the watercolor before? Stage one is more like a treating acrylic paint like watercolor. Okay, so uh, just to uh, use a lot of water and just think about color distribution at this point. Okay, and I have orange here. I wanna make orange. This, shoot, this was not yellow. Gosh, this was orange. What am I talking about? I could be using yellow, but I, I, if I try to be loyal to uh, original collage, I can do orange here. So yellow was this one. God. I can do orange onto this shoe here. So anything I'm doing is I'm not really thinking about tonal value, how light, how dark. That's not something I, I'm talking about. I'm just thinking about exactly what kind of hue I want to place on each shape. And of course, 
green background here to blue. I think there is a blue blue sky. Now it's very dark blue here. Eventually I have to make the blue sky to be lighter than what I'm painting now by having some tint. Actually this was a punch hole from the calendar. And of course, there's a green here. Or more like a yellow green. Okay, I can keep going a little bit more, but uh, let's talk about some other colors. It's actually nice to have this green around here. All right, now uh, I don't have a red in my color palette, right? So those stripes of those guys here are basically red, but I don't have red. So uh, I may substitute to uh, uh, something like close to orange. That's the limitation I have from my color palette. I'm not supposed to be using red in this case because my um, color scheme choices are uh, double split complementary blue, violet, yellow, orange. I mean, I have red on my palette, but I basically I'm supposed to be making the orange from that. So I, I have to uh, make an orange um, to go over. I need a smaller brush for those stripes.
Hold on. Now, um, I still have to think about what kind of color to for the cat, right? And cat have different colors, but maybe many parts of the cat can be like a yellow, orange, There are so many different value range around here, but I'm not gonna be too worried about it. Just at this point, I'm just thinking about what would be the primary hue for that area. Cat's eye is almost black, but at this point, I don't have any black on my color palette. So maybe I'm gonna do the eye as blue or violet, which is very dark. Uh, final project one, you, um, you are start. You are actually distributing all these uh, pure hues first, and then you have to match with the achromatic grayscale painting, right? In that case, you have to uh, make a tint or shade. Like, yeah, if it's totally black that in the area, sure, why not? So that's how I start. Okay, and uh, I'm basically deciding what kind of hues should I use for each part, and of course. Right now, I'm not having any black and white, so I'm just basically painting with something very light, something very dark as a pure hue. But I'm having a lot of water, so I don't obscure all these lines with my paint. All right. So I can keep working a little bit, okay? So uh, you guys can uh, do two things. If you haven't done this, okay? And um, uh, if you have already done this, uh, you can start to paint on your um, uh, Bristol, okay? But somebody who haven't transferred yet, uh, probably cannot do that part yet, but uh, um, it's, it's, it's crucial to get to um, get your drawing onto Bristol as, as soon as possible so you can start to, you have enough time for your paint this week and early next week.